we're in Vico Bazzano again today. Uh, we were here last October when we went through the uh, the antiques market. Now they have a uh, fab little flower festival on. It seems like it's a grand day out for families. And uh, we'll see what that's about. And we're going to meet a friend or two here, hopefully, if they can find us. We know, I mean, among all the throng. Anything here? Here, first stud earrings, no? So that's chiefly what this flower festival is all about. And surprisingly, flowers. Seems to be a bit of a general market here today as well. So we've actually met Marie and Lorenzo from Casa Colombia, Authentic Tuscany. I'll leave the details of their Instagram account okay. down below. How long has the uh, flower festival been going on? Is it uh, how long has the flower festival been going Flyers, on? Flower festival is flower festivals through a couple of days, yeah. yesterday yeah. and today. But uh, days. how many years? Is it uh, a new thing? Oof, or? So many years, I think uh, 10 years, maybe even more. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And is it getting, getting bigger every year? Yes, it does. Oh, it, is, it does, it does, yeah. This is one of my favorite wrestlers. This is Osir, yeah. is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this was our restaurant. It's called Trente Metri Quadri because it's the area of the indoor space and is run by a couple of Roman lads. We settled down and slowly our group began to grow from the four of us then to six as a couple Marie and Lorenzo knew joined us. Then three more came, including Chef Celine, who you might know from Nikki Positano's content if you watch her. She's a private chef in the Luca region, so if you're in the area and are in need of one, look her up. Celine was joined by another British expat couple. Everyone knew each other, so it was a little overwhelming at first for Neve and me, but everyone was so lovely that their manner, plus a glass or three of wine, put us at our ease. Instagram handles and websites of everyone is in the description box below. We then proceeded to have one of those wonderful Tuscan lunches that was about 1.5 courses of food but lasted almost 4 hours. If a few people in the party hadn't been short on time it would have been a little more relaxing but Neve and I weren't in a hurry. We had little veggie balls of goodness, bread, pasta to accompany your wine, all very delish. A couple had desserts afterwards but we held back as we were heading out to dinner that evening. 
Once done, we headed out once again to explore the flower festival a little more. All right, that was a four hour lunch. This is now probably mid to late afternoon and we still haven't looked at the flower festival yet. Take two. Huh? Oh, they're cool. Must be about 24, 25 out now at the moment. Somewhere for gelato with some stretch. We head back towards the square. Oh, cool, yeah. Oh, look at those little. Oh, pretty cool. 
cool. I love the way the old town and new town blend in Vico Pisano. Beer. That's a cool little stall they have set up. And they have a beer stall next to it as well. Thank you. 